Hi and welcome back to Kanji Master. Today we're going to be learning Kanji based around the flag uh, symbol. This one, that's the wrong stroke order, but you know the shape. The only reading is ko, like koza, meaning to crouch, which I'll show you how to draw shortly. The kunyomi reading is shiri, as in oshiri, meaning buttocks or bottom, uh, to draw it. So, if you can imagine you have a flag outside your house, and it has the number 9 on it, and someone keeps coming up and drawing this on it, making it into a sort of a butt shape. Each time, so you got a butt flag. Um, and that's the easiest way I can remember. I just think about 9, someone draws the second thing here, and it's like butt. It's like a butt. Uh, Give me 22 people in the dirt. Calls up to crouch. On to the next one. Oh, we just learned the, the, the kanji for, for bottom, and this is the kanji for tail. Uh, the only one is B, like say call B, meaning like uh, end the line. Uh, the kunyobi reading is O, meaning tail, or po, like shippo, meaning tail too, which I'll show you how to draw in just a minute. So we've got a flag with fur on it. Um, if you can imagine a furry flag, like a flag with lots of hair all over it, flat in the wind, um, and someone puts a little tail on it. Maybe it's a cat flag. So even though it's even though it's a flag, it has this and has a little tail. The picture. This is the tail. And the picture. The tail. You go cat flag means tail. So flag with a tail on it is. Flag with fur, sorry, has a tail. There you go. <laughs> Distracted by my own terrible drawing there. Uh, and it's shippo. Shippo. Tail. On to the next one. The next kanji is the kanji for urine. Uh, the onyomi reading is nyo, which means urine in Japanese. Um, the kunyo reading is also nyo in this, in, in, in this instance. Gosh, I can't even speak. Uh, but I didn't bother to put it down because the onion reading and the kunyo reading are the same in this instance. Uh, to draw it, we've got our flag. We've got water. So you can imagine if you see a flag with water written on it, that's the spot to go pee. Maybe there's like a toilet under it. Let's draw a toilet. Can I draw a toilet? That kind of looks like a toilet. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> the picture like that marks the area where the toilet is where you can urinate. Water where you go to the toilet, urinate. On to the next one. Uh, the next kanji we're looking at is the kanji for leak and drain out. The onyomi reading is ro, like ro shitsu, which I'll show you how to draw shortly, which is leaking. Uh, the kunyomi reading is mo from moru or moreru, morasu, or which means leak or leak out. You draw it, we've got tsunami, and our flag, we've got rain. So to remember, it, you have a leak in your ceiling. Okay, you have a leak in your ceiling. Picture yourself in your bed. You got this water dripping on your face. So you get a flag. And you put it up on the roof. Of course, because it's made of cloth material, it starts leaking on your head. So you look up. Maybe this is the middle of a tsunami with lots of rain happening outside. You can hear the rain, rain and tsunami blowing around, leaking your roof. It's coming through the flag, dabbing on the head. Flag, tsunami, roof leak. Oh, that's it. Leak. Now the next one. Forgetting the flag element for just a minute. Uh, this kanji here means finger or point. The only reading is shi, like uh, is in shiatsu massage. Uh, and the kunyo reading is yibi, meaning finger or sa from the sa from sasu, meaning to point out. To point out. We've got our nail bat, spoon, the sun. So. Remember this one, imagine you lose all your fingers. Put your fingers, look at them. They're all gone. Lost them in an accident. And what's been repl what's replaced them is a series of each finger is one after the other. One is a nail bat, so it's a small nail, small bat with lots of nails sticking out of it. The next one is a spoon, nail bat, spoon, nail bat, spoon. We have a of salad fingers from a long time ago on YouTube. It's got fingers that are spoons. So it's, uh, nail bat spoon, nail bat spoon. They call you nail bat spoon fingers because your friends are really clever. 
And your favourite thing to do is to point at the sun with them because when you do that, the light reflects off them. So picture yourself with your nail bat, spoon fingers pointing at the sun. Uh, okay. uh, Koyubi, little finger, oh. and Nakayubi, middle finger. And the last one for today, just totally randomly, is the kanji for vinegar. <laughs> The only we're reading is Saku. I couldn't really find any common words for this one, so if you guys know any, do let me know. And the Kunyam reading is Su, meaning uh, is Su is vinegar in Japanese. So we've got alcohol with a key in it. So uh, imagine you go to a key fish and chip shop, because that's where lots of people have salt and vinegar in there, salt and vinegar in their chips and fish and chip shop. Um, and in the vinegar bottle they have a key in it and the reason they have the key is because the owner is an alcoholic he used to drink a lot of the stuff and the key would be the sign to say that this wasn't alcohol so you drink everything inside all the liquid the key in the alcohol alcohol bottle means that it's it's vinegar and not the cost of pigeon fish chip shop key in your sake bottle pouring out into your chips and that's it for today see you guys again tomorrow bye